Hey, I'm Brad, your official festival podcaster for the Worldwide Short Film Festival. We're here at the Cumberland Cinemas where the festival screenings are well underway. But before a film can ever make it here, it's got to go through a lengthy script development process. We talked to John Galway at the Harold Greenberg Fund about what they offer to filmmakers. Uh, my name is John Galway and I am um, the president of uh, the Harold Greenberg Fund, which is part of Astral Media. Uh, Astral is a um, communications media company that um, has television stations, radio stations and outdoor advertising and the TV station that we're most closely associated with is TMN, the movie network. Okay, and what does the Harold Greenberg Fund do? <laughs> uh, it funds uh, the development of screenplays for feature films uh, starting at, at treatment right through to the final polish and packaging and then we also have money um, for the production to invest in the production of uh, feature films. Great. And uh, so what do you, what's your involvement with the Worldwide Short Film right. Festival? Uh, we're, we're a sponsor and we also um, sponsor the, the short pro dramatic film program up at the Film Center. Um, and we've been on a couple panels and, and uh, you know, obviously using it to network. But um, for us, I think the main um, experience at the Film Festival is really, you know, trying to see films and trying to uh, see who the new talent is in terms of Canadian features, directors, writers, and uh, meeting the producers as well. Okay. Um, so for you, what, what do you think is the most valuable thing about this sort of experience uh, for what you guys are doing? Yeah. Uh, I think it, you know, it really is to, to, to seek out new people um, and you get to see their work. Uh, you know, short, shorts uh, end up being calling cards for people. Um, sometimes it's their first film or, or they've established a, a body of work in shorts before making that move into features and the features is where what, what we um, are the business that we're in. So for us, it's really kind of, you know, starting to get to see people that might make the move into the, the business that we're in. So from your experience, do you think you can tell a lot about what someone's features will be like from looking at their shorts? Uh, generally, yeah, you can certainly see, you know, see their skill and, and people do tend to um, move towards the genre. They may, you know, um, work per, primarily in comedic features or horror or different uh, different genres and a couple of the films that we've done have actually evolved out of a short. Um, a Mal was a short originally became a feature and even the Fire Horse was based on a short so often filmmakers are experimenting with a short before they move that story up up to feature. Okay so let's speak a little bit to filmmakers who might be watching this podcast. Um, what advice can you give to them if they want to maybe come to you with a project? What should they yep. show you? Uh, well, I always say that you know you should op uh, start the dialogue well before we have deadlines for for development, or well before you actually really need the money for production. Uh, particularly if we don't know you, if you're uh, starting, um, just so that we can start to have a, a rapport with each other and introduce the project. Um, and if there is material that you want us to view, like you've done some shorts that are perhaps relevant to the the project that you're working on now, you know, get them to us so that we can. Uh, have the exposure to them because that's really your ultimate, uh, you know, calling card and your ultimate sign of proof of, of what you can do. Okay. On the other side of things, filmmakers can usually be over eager sometimes, uh, or really, <laughs> uh, you know, I guess they're their own salesmen. But yeah, you know, they, they need can, to be. They yeah. can be a little overbearing. Uh, what would turn you off from wanting to do business with a filmmaker? Huh. Um, well, I think you do need to find that line um, with every, you know, everybody in the industry between persistence versus, uh, you know, hounding. Um, give people a little bit of time to call them back because they have lots of, lots of phone calls. But uh, you do have to start with that kind of cold call. Say, introduce who you are, what, you know, what the project uh, you, you want to talk about. And then most, what's most useful, I think, is to actually kind of try to book a, a meeting where that person, myself or whoever it is, you know, is in your headspace for a half an hour or for an hour or whatever rather than uh, um, you can make the initial contact at a, a networking event like this but you're really only going to have a couple of minutes to talk to somebody so you need to try to set up a, a more thoughtful time. So it's about the follow-up? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, great. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome.